the Toyota Tundra might be the best American truck yet. And when you add this cowboy package to it, it's even better. I borrowed this truck from Carl Malone Toyota here in Draper, Utah. Be sure to check out their inventory. This truck is available for sale. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker. So here's the description on this truck. It's gonna be a 1794 edition Crew Max five and a half foot bed. Midnight black is the paint color. And then here is a short listing of the standard equipment. And this truck doesn't have that many options on it. 10 inch heads up display, power running boards with the power bed step, which I'll show you in a second, and non skid spray on bed liner. Destination comes in at 1850 with a total price of $69,859. Even though this is considered the cowboy truck, they don't add a lot of chrome to the exterior. Now with the 1794 edition, this is a high trim. This one has the standard quad beam, high and low beam headlights. I actually rented one of these trucks and the headlights are amazing. Fog lights are hidden down below, really nice design. You guys can see the parking sensors, active grill shutters, the camera up front right there. And as I said, there's not a lot of bright chrome to this truck like this right here. It's kind of like a satin finish on the grill. It looks perfect. And then here's the hood. And let's see if there's any skid plates down below. So yes, they do have some protection under there. It's like a fabric material. And then here is the double wishbone suspension. So they do have a steel lower control arm and the top one is too. The steer knuckle looks to be a forged aluminum coilover set up there for your shocks and coils. Fabric material for the wheel liner. And that's a pretty large sway bar too, by the way. So here is the wheel design for the Tundra. 20 inch, no chrome, six lug, and they are wrapped in the Yokohama Geolander XCV higher 265 60 20 and max capacity is 2469 pounds and 51 psi is max for the tire now i would like to see a lt tire especially for a full-size pickup truck a little bit of chrome on the mirrors down below on that 1794 badge and on the door handles and below the windows by the way too i forgot about that here's a full view of the truck now you do have your power deployable running boards down below. So here they are. They pretty much drop down once you open the door. And they have a really nice design too. Now, one thing I always love about Toyota Tundra is they've always given these large fuel tanks. So this is gonna have a 32.2 gallon tank. Regular fuel is all you need for this. Multi-link rear suspension. And does this one have the air? I don't think it does. I think it's an option on this truck. Now you guys can see the bed there, right? That bed is a sheet molded compound. And you guys see the construction below it? It's gonna have aluminum reinforcing cross members right there. Really nice setup. And then here's the exhaust tip out back. Now there is a button on the side of the tail light. It would drop down your step that is powered. Now here's just a better look at this bed too. They stamp Tundra right there. You have some lighting in here, 400 watts of power, and you have some tie downs around the bed, just four. Now this is not power going back up. I would like to see that. But they do provide a light here for your conventional hitch, backup camera, there's a four and seven pin, class four receiving hitch. These are your reverse lights. And you have your parking sensors. They do provide a donut style spare tire there. 331 axle ratio, and you guys can see coiled suspension. This is a multi-link rear suspension, which is new for this redesigned Tundra.
So here is that 3.4 liter twin turboed V6 engine. My wife's Lexus LX600 has this engine and it's amazing. Great performance and I feel as though it's pretty fuel efficient on the highway. If you do a lot of mixed driving, we get about 17 to 18 and that's with a full time four wheel drive SUV. Now with that being said, this one does not take premium, which is nice. And this one's gonna have 389 horsepower, 479 pound feet of torque. All that power goes through a 10 speed transmission and the first gear is a 492. If you don't remember, the 5.7 liter V8 that this replaced had a 430 rear end and so with this truck having higher gearing out back that's why this truck's going to get better fuel economy so i love the, what they've done with this truck i feel as though even though a lot of people prefer the v8 because of the sound things like that and potentially better reliability i still think that the twin turbo v6 is a really good option make no mistake about it the toyota tundra has one of the best interiors for the full size segment tons of soft touch on this door you guys can see some of the stitching here now i'm shocked that they give you this trim piece let's see if it has okay it does match right there okay never mind and down below here so that's pretty cool so they do give you this off brown color but i love the saddle here and this is like a black trim piece you guys can see some of the stitching there too and seat memories you can auto fold those mirrors you can set up automatically with the key auto up and down for the front and rear windows some of your silver trimming on the interior looks great now as far as the seats go look how wide they are so if you have that big old butt you can really get comfortable in this truck and they give you some more support for those longer leg people like me i'm gonna try that out here in a second Lumbar does go up and down, in and out. And then check out some of that trimming right there. So that trim piece that you saw on the door, it does match around the interior. Good job. I was like thinking, why is that like an off color? But it makes sense now. Perforated leather. You guys can see the steering wheel too. Has that perforated leather too, which helps it to breathe better. Some of that stitching right there too. Now I would like to see tilt headrests. They don't have that. But getting in is pretty easy. This trim piece or this uh, plate here sits pretty low. They do provide a grab handle up top. Not wrapped in leather, just being picky here just for a second. And then you guys see your pedals down below. Really nice floor mats, power steering column. And when you have that, oh wow. See, this is better than my wife's Lexus. Oh yeah, this is way better. So this support up here is super comfortable like it really does give you good support all the way up to my knees like well below my knees i should say and if you want to push that steering wheel in you can do so let's go ahead and start it up push button start now i'm not sure if you guys noticed when i started the truck up it did automatically turn on the air conditioned seats and that's because it's a little bit warmer outside. But you guys see on the roof there, black roof. And here is the game over for Toyota. This is my favorite feature with Toyota Tundra. I don't know why everyone hasn't copied that. It must be patented still, but yeah, that's my favorite thing. Now, if you want to slide the screen for your big old panoramic view sunroof, you can do so. That really is a game changer for the interior. Love that. Now you have this guy too. So you have that 4K camera for your rearview mirror, LED lighting for the interior, including your vanity right there on both sides. This is basically the new Land Cruiser because I feel as though they've really set this thing up with ultra luxury. Also, this one does have the heads up display, 14 inch screen, 12.3 inch screen right there. And let's check out the interior. You have your dual climate control, heat and ventilated seats as you just saw. Heated steering wheel button is, where's that button at? I don't see it, we'll find it later. But you have electronic parking brake, you have the hold if you're at a stoplight. This is for your trailering, and if you wanna look around the truck, you can do that. You can also change what you're seeing. If you put it in reverse, they give you the backup lines. Those are disabled. They give you this menu down below. I love how easy it is, because all you have to do is just go down here and just click on what you wanna see. You can see your tires up front or out back. Probably good for off-road. You can see your bed view camera right there. Here are some cup holders on the side. 
big wood trim piece. All this is porous wood too. Wireless charger. And check this out. I used to put my wallet here when I rented the truck that I had. But this does hide some USBs, coin holders. If you want to open this up, buttons right there. And you guys can see deeper storage there. Even more storage right there. This is well thought out. I like what they've done. You have multiple drive modes. Let's kind of go through them really quickly. So you have sport, normal, and eco mode. They also have tow haul mode. So you see right there, you see it pops up. And for your four wheel drive, two high, four high, four low. We'd love to see four A, which is four automatic. The other competitors are doing that, but you do have your trailer brake right there. And here's some of the controls on the side. For your bed lights, this is for your automatic high beams, auto stop start. This will control the brightness for your screen right here. And this is how you see your trip information. And then this is for your parking. This will turn off your, or turn on your uh, power to pull running boards. Here it is, I knew I would find it. This is your heated steering wheel. And then this is how you turn on the power plugs that are 120 volt inside the truck. You can control this screen here. I don't want to spend too much time. I've done videos in the past. If you would like to see more of this, you can go back and check those out. But yeah, there's a lot of nice information in here. You have your compass, audio, then this is for your trailer, and then this is for all your safety features there. This letting you know that the fuel's low, and then it goes back here. Turbo boost gauge is right there, which is gonna be helpful for fuel economy. But let's go ahead and check out the passenger side. Check out the dash on this side. It says 1794 right there. You can actually feel that inside the wood too. All this is wrapped in leather. Really nicely done. Decent size glove box. More leather wrap right there on the side. You don't have that support on the front of the seat here, but still really nice bolstering on the seats. And lumbar goes up and down on this side too. And check this out. No other full size truck has this. I love that they give you the screens for the Tundra. You guys see some of the speakers right there. Seat back pockets on both sides. And 60-40 bench. You know, I think Toyota could do a better job though with the storage, but there's a little bit of storage right there. But check this out. Heated and ventilated seats out back. And this isn't even the highest trim level. In most of the Ram trucks, you because that's the only other full-size pickup that offers this, you have to spend another 15 grand to get stuff like this, right? And then you have your power plug. They give you a Type C and a Type A USB down below here. Air vents, and then check this out. Armrests with cup holders. There is no recline out back, unfortunately, but some of your lighting's there. And then there's a better view of that big sunroof. Grab handle. And I was wrong too, by the way. I might be thinking about someone else. They do have a lot of storage below the seat here. And let's go ahead and check out the numbers on the door. So the gross axle weight rating up front is gonna be 4,080 pounds. The rear is 3,860. Gross fuel coil rating is going to be 7,275 pounds. The wheels are 20 by 8 wide. And here is the payload. 1,300 pounds minus 21 pounds there because of the accessories that were added to the truck. Hope you guys liked the video. Again, I'm here at Carl Malone Toyota. This truck is available. Really nice spec. And I like the fact that most of the features on this truck came standard, like that panoramic sunroof, the headlights were not an upgrade. You did have to upgrade these powder pull running boards, but it's really done well. Large screens, heat and ventilated seats. I think this is truly one of the best trucks on the market today.